what's up guys alt minus a back again finally like these couple last couple months like they haven't been too good like i have to be getting my driver's license sorted out and i've been a little bit homesick and influencers like going rampant where i'm at so today i want to talk about acquiring your japanese driver's license finally got mine on my third try first you have to like collect a couple documents like you have, you have your residence card your jumio which is basically your what is it um your residency status here or whatever your driver's license and if your driver's license like has expired bring bring the old one along with the new one and same thing with your passport you need it you need to bring a photo because you need to put on your application you need a translation of your driver's license from english to japanese and you get it at the japanese automobile federation also you need proof that you've been driving for at least 90 days you know when you got your license in your country that could be like a utility bill proving that you were there or if you're in college or whatever you could use a transcript and also if you like your passport passport it would um like the stamp it with entry dates and exit dates i think that can work too unfortunately i wasn't a part of the blessed countries that just don't have to do this nonsense <laughs> anyways let's move on so after you collect these documents and you go to the driving center you submit them along with the application and they do like an interview like a pointless interview to me but hey we're in japan we have to do what the japanese people do so that like, they'll ask like uh when you got your license if you went to a driving school or you know how long did you it take you to get your license and what car you drove when you did the test the make you know if it's a japanese car american car it works I don't even remember, but I know it just took really long. It was really annoying. After you sorted that out, you get to set an appointment for your actual test and the practical test a month from your initial interview date. Well, well, for me. So now, test date is here. You have to do an eye exam and a written test. Yeah. So the written test is like 10 questions, and you have to get 70 yeah the pass mark is like 70 percent if we get seven right it's like true and false like they're really simple like i can leave a link in the description to like the practice test that i did and then you have the eye exams where like basically there's a, a c and like if it's like open this way it'll be like left and this no oh, this will be right sorry this will be left up and down so you, you they give you a series of them and you just tell them left, right, up, down, whatever. And then you have colors test. I guess it's for like colorblind people. So then you have to tell them whether it's red, blue, green, yellow, black, and white. Whatever color you see, you just tell them. So once you pass that now, you sign a form stating that, oh, you don't drink or you never pass out or have problems. Just answer no to all of those. Then now, you move to the practical test. They give you a booklet that would basically tell you like how to pass, but it's all in English, um, in Japanese, sorry. And <laughs> I can't read Japanese, so it was pretty much useless for me. If you can read Japanese, good for you. It shows you like a map of your potential courses, like that helps. So you can like visualize what are you going to do on the course that, that i find that really helps but i recommend you going to a driving school because these japanese people are very nitpicky about their rules and it's very strict for instance you have to like check around the car check under the car check the lights check the tires ensure that no kids or cats or any stray animal is under the car you open the car with two hands the left hand on the frame the right hand open this door you enter you lock the door close the doors say you just gonna guys mask you adjust your seat just your mirrors like toggle it like touch it 
um, put on your seatbelt and then check if it's in park and the handbrake is up. Then you ask, oh, is it okay for me to start? And make sure you do your makikomi checks. Like, you, like you, you look at all the mirrors, like exaggerate the hell out of your, your gestures. Just exaggerate them because that's what they want. And you have to drive like a certain um, distance away from the left line. Like you have to be like, really close. Also, you have to stop a distance, like a meter away from the line, like the stop line. Make sure you stop. And you have to stop for three seconds. Like, stop for five just, just to satisfy them. I failed the first time because I, they said I paused at the stop sign. Like, I didn't stay long enough. And also, you need to indicate 30 meters away. So put on your winkers or your blinkers, whatever. Second time, it was my fault because, like, my problem is, like, I'm not really good at Japanese. So I had to, like, be, like, translating in my head. Like, okay, Nigi, is that right? Yeah, 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 right. Nigi, hit it. And, like, I just lose focus and I got nervous and made mistakes. On my third try, I did get someone who kind of spoke English. Thank God. It helped a lot. Cost, like, about 5800 yes cost that like it's really expensive and each time you fail you have to pay like a, a, a good amount of money but in the end uh, like i recommend if you don't really have to drive like if you don't have a driving position it, it, it it's really not worth it like <laughs> it's it's very stressful anyways i hope this helped I'm going to leave some links to like what you need to bring and stuff. I hope you pass. Good luck. Gambate. Or is it gambate ne or whatever. Just, just pass. Good luck. Anyway, see you next time. Out. Oh.